What's up guys, AC Card Shark back again. I just wanted to do a quick episode, um, just following up on yesterday's show. A uh, couple of things I couldn't get to on the on the show yesterday because I was running out of time. Uh, first thing up is last Friday, right before I got, let me see, I'm just trying to get my stuff together here. Um, right before I went onto my live show last Friday night, I did end up beating Yakuza 3. Um, it said at the end of the show, it gives you your playtime, how much percentage complete of the game you had, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, it had said I put 38 hours into that game, and um, I didn't. I think I was only, only like 12% done with the entire game. Like I finished the complete storyline, but I didn't do all the side quests and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to kind of get through and see see how the game went, and. Um, it definitely has good replay value because I mean you've got all this extra time and all these extra missions to do and and everything else so um it's definitely uh I mean I recommended it wholeheartedly when I was only about five or six chapters in and the game is twelve chapters long I've now finished the game and um my review on the shark and pixel show gave it a nine point oh I'm gonna bump that to a nine point five because it was just that good um uh, it's it's as close to perfect as you're gonna get for for like a an open world like it has with RPG elements and it's just it's just really great guys you've heard you've heard the story you've heard me promote it as well um, just go out and, and get that game guys uh, pay sixty bucks you won't regret it uh, so yeah I, I did beat uh, Yakuza three uh, the next game from GameFly came in the mail I returned uh, what did I return I returned Mass Effect one from the Xbox three sixty I didn't really like it too much. I think I'm just going to hit up Mass Effect 2 and see what all the hype's about because they said it's more of a shooter with RPG elements rather than the reverse. Um, and that's kind of up my alley. The whole RPG thing is not my not my deal. Um, on the recommendation of Pixel Sandwich, because there are a couple of uh, co-op uh, missions in this game, I did pick up uh, White Knight Chronicles for the PS3 from Gamefly. Um, I'm actually going to be putting that, actually going to put it in the drive right now. That way I can actually start installing and updating and all that kind of good stuff while I'm doing this. Um, White Knight Chronicles, uh, he said he's having a really good time with that game, and it's gotten some really bad reviews, um, or middle-of-the-road reviews, like 5.0 or whatever. Um, I'd like to see what the what the talk's all about, so I decided to rent it, and I'm going to see what, what goes on and uh, see how I like that. Um, another thing, a uh, quick plug I wanted to give... Um, Modern Day Video Gamer, he's one of my one of my subscribers here, and he's he's actually a really really big supporter of of both this channel and the Shark and Pixel Show. Um, he started up a website, and um, I told him uh, he asked me if if he could plug this channel as well as the Shark and Pixel Show on there, and I obviously I'm gonna absolutely say yes. Um, any any chance I can get to have someone plug my my channel or or Pixel Sandwiches and, and my channel, I'm gonna I'm gonna obviously say yes to that. Um, but guys, if you head over to moderndayvideogamer.webs.com, that's his website. He just started it up. So I, I, I believe it's a work in progress, so um, he's he's going to be updating that and everything and all about his uh, video gaming and everything else. So uh, you, you guys uh, check that out. Um, he does have plugs for me over there, so I'm giving him his plug over here. So head over there, check it out, and uh, let him know what you think about it. <clears throat> also, excuse me, um, I wanted to show you too, um, I actually tripped across um, a new app on my phone. Now, for you guys who have Android, um, you can it's a completely free application. It's called um, Mojo NES, I believe it's called. That's what, that's what it's showing on my main screen here. Um, I'm going to show you guys, um, well, as you can see, I've got my, my Jim Morrison um, my Jim Morrison wallpaper, but if you scroll over this way, um, you can see it right there. It has a little NES controller, Mojo NES. So I'm going to click on that, and it just gives you a blank screen here. It just says, you know, welcome to uh, Mojo NES Lite. Press menu to start if you need help loading games, all that kind of good stuff. What 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 you do is um, you have to get a program called uh, Astro File Manager which is also free, again, on the Android system. Uh, but what you can do is just browse the web normally um, on your normal web browser on your phone. Again, if you have the Droid, if you have a, a T-Mobile G1 works on Android as well. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Android systems or Android um, phones that run Android operating system. Um, but what you do is you can go to any NES, or uh, for this case, NES ROM site, R-O-M, and uh, Basically, what what they do is you can download the games uh, for for free. I downloaded a couple of um, examples, and what I'm going to do is I'll I'll show you. It loads up 
and that's in that frame. But if you if you turn it sideways, it does come up as um, the the uh, the axis does turn the game. And what you do is, as you can see, there's the demo. It's Kung Fu for the NES. That's again one of my favorite games of all time on the on the Nintendo system. It does play completely. Uh, it's a full emulation of the game. Um, and what you do actually is um, you can go into the options of this of this system. And with me, I have I, I slide my key my uh, screen up and use the keyboard obviously because that's the only keys I have. And you can actually set what you want everything to be. So whatever's comfortable for you. For me, I have the uh, because it's a QWERTY keyboard. I have the A and D being left and right, the W being up and the Z being down, and then obviously the corner ones in between are the uh, up and left and up and right buttons and all that kind of stuff. I have the period and the comma right here is the A and B button, just like the old NES, the B on the left and the A on the right. And uh, select and start, I believe I have like G and H, like where it would be typically on a controller. Um, but if you if you look, let me see. Try to see if you can hear it. So basically, you know, I I don't know I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but um, it, it is full sound. It is uh, fully replicated and everything else. Uh, another another f another example. It's uh, Mike Tyson's punch out, and let me get to the main screen here. So there you go. There's there's Mike Tyson's punch out for you. I'm having trouble with this screen here. I I still can't get the hang of the screen. See if I can shadow it maybe. I don't know. But yeah, Mike Tyson's punch out guys is it's it's fully fully loaded and the other game I have downloaded so far is uh Tetris because who doesn't love Tetris? But um let me see if I can get to the main screen here too. There you go. There's Tetris. It's it's full out Nintendo emulation, guys. Uh, again, if you go to uh, on your Android system, go to the Android market, download Mojo M O J O N E S Lite L I T E, and also make sure you have a copy of Astro, like the dog on the Jetsons, Astro File Manager, um, and just browse the web normally, download the files normally, and you're off and running, guys. You got a full fully working NES on your portable phone. So. Um, Pretty much anywhere I go, I can play my old NES titles, which is awesome. It takes a little getting used to on the keyboard, but uh, you get used to it real real quick. So I uh, just thought I'd share that information with you guys. Um, that's about it for today, guys. That's just a little quick update. Um, no unboxings or anything uh, yet. They should be coming later this week. And uh, keep an eye out for the Shark and Pixel show. Link will be in the sidebar. Um, there will be some new episodes coming shortly. Uh, we weren't able to hook up last night to record those shows, so uh, in the next day or so, we should hopefully hook up and get those shows together, and uh, we will get those produced and out to you on the Shark and Pixel Show channel uh, by the end of the week. And that's about it. Uh, still planning on the live show on Saturday, Saturday around 6 p.m., and that's about it from here, guys. So for today, this is AC Card Shark. Take care.